Hey, what's up, everybody? So my name is Devin, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about dimensions. <clears throat> I get a lot of questions about dimensions, and so I thought what I'd do is just kind of do a little bit of a breakdown so you can kind of understand dimensions a little bit better. All right. So first and foremost, dimension stands for measurement. OK, so it's just a measurement of something. So you have the 1D. This is the one dimension. Now, the first dimension doesn't matter, believe it or not, because you can't actually experience the first dimension. In other words, the moment that you'd be observing yourself in the 1D is the moment you're separated from the 1D, since the 1D is everything. So therefore, the moment you're experiencing the 1D or observing yourself in the 1D is the moment you're already in the 2D. So we can go ahead and put the 1D aside. That's unity. That's where everything is connected. That's where there's no separation, no evil, no bad, no groups of people, no anti-groups of people. It's just all that oneness. Okay? So that brings us into number two. So 2D is basically the measurement of two. So now we have two. We have hot and we have cold. We have light and we have dark. We have up and we have down. We have these poles because of the understanding that if there's one and it duplicates itself and it changes something just slightly, well, now there's two. Okay, We do this all the time on our personal journeys. We change something about ourselves. We look in the mirror. We don't like what we see. We compare ourselves in a relationship. We don't like what we see. And so we change ourselves. And when we end up changing ourselves, we now have two. We have two versions of ourselves, something we compare to that we want to change and look differently and the thing that we actually want to look like or to have the outcome of. So now we're in two. Now, there's a ton of information about the 2D that is absolutely amazing. But the most important thing about the 2D is to understand you can't observe left or right. You can't observe up or down. You can only be left or you can be right, or you can be up or you can be down. You can be love or you can be fear. That's why fear and love actually do exist in the 2D, but they can't be experienced. So it doesn't matter. It's just the place that they actually exist. Because when you move into wanting to be the observer, wanting to choose love or fear, wanting to choose left or right, you have to actually be an observer of said choice. So therefore, the 3D was created. The 3D or three dimension was created so that there can be an observer of the two poles. Therefore, they can choose which one that they actually want, love on one side, fear on the other side. The observer gets to choose which one is best. Now, believe it or not, that's still not the best option because option A and option B are literally just two options. So if you choose option A or you choose option B, you spend your whole entire life in this perpetual cycle of feeling like you had to, right? So church taught you a certain way, so you chose that option. Society taught you another way, so you chose that option. Okay, you always feel like it's being forced on you. Because the other side is just astronomically insane. If you don't choose God's love, well, then you choose hell. That's unfair. So therefore, you feel like you're stuck in this constant cycle of having to choose option A or option B. And that is where the understanding of your third eye comes in, you see, because to look through this world with two eyes is to see option A and option B. But to look through this world with your third eye allows you to see option A. And option B. Now I'm going to bring this back to Nikola Tesla because it's one of my favorite things to talk about. Of course, Nikola Tesla's three, six, and nine. When you live your life as though it is a triangle, okay, the pinnacle is going to be the nine. Off to the right side, you got a three. Off to the left side, you got a six. When you're living at a three, you look up at that nine and it feels impossible. Sometimes you can't even see it. You don't even know where that can actually take you, but you know that you don't want to stay where you are. So what do you do? You do exactly what I said in terms of the one D to the two D. Duplicate yourself. You literally duplicate yourself, which brings you to a six. So you duplicate yourself, you go on a journey, and now you're at a six. And the greatest thing about a six is you can look back at three and realize, oh, man, it was not that far to travel from here to here. And I did it. I survived it. I went through that journey. Okay. And then, more importantly, you can never see that. And you can see it's only three steps away. It's not six steps away anymore. It's not impossible. It's three steps away. And so when you apply those three steps, then you end up moving to the understanding of the nine the pinnacle. When you're living at a nine, you see both the three and the six, and you see the value that both of them brought. Three did not give you everything that you wanted, but it was a stepping stone and it was important. And six did not give you everything you wanted, but it was a stepping stone and it was important. And so therefore, when you're living at a nine, you're seeing the value of three and six, the same exact way that when you're using your third eye, your 3D or three-dimensional eye, you're seeing the value of the left and the right. You see the value of the Republican, and you see the value of the Democrat, you see the value of religion, and you see the value of the atheist. You don't pick and choose which one is right and which one is wrong, because believe it or not, there's truth in all, 
but not all is truth. And when you want to take down these walls, these walls of fear and separation, these walls of very limited information as though you're looking through a keyhole and, and believing that you're understanding everything. Okay. It is only when you kick down a door that suddenly you start to see, oh, there was a whole nother side I just couldn't see. And make no mistake, every single status, the elite, the rich, the government, religion, they're all at the exact same place in, in terms of the fact that they're doing the best they can, given the view of the world at that time. It is very, very easy to start a company and have three people and make sure that everything flows so that those three people benefit from it. It is difficult to have a company that has 100,000 people and to make sure that everything flows so those 100,000 people are not affected by it. Okay? So it is the understanding that when you are using your third eye, you are seeing both options and you are choosing the best one for that situation. Okay, That is what the difference between a 2D and a 3D is. Now, to move into the 4D, you have to move into the understanding of getting rid of physicality. 4D exists as metaphysical. And the reason is because it's just time. Time is the 4D. You could study Einstein, you could study Tesla. They were talking about the exact same thing. Time is the 4D. And therefore, the more weight that you have, the slower that time is. The more pressure you add to yourself, the slower that time is. Okay, Because make no mistake, fear is just pressure. It's all that it is. The more pressure, the more compressed you feel in this life, the less quality you have of life. And that is no different than the computer. If you want to compress a video or a song, the more you compress it, the less quality you actually get out of the original. Okay, So it's the exact same thing. The more pressure that you feel in this life, the less you see. And what that means is it means that all around you are entities. All around you is light. All around you is very positive, very, very high vibrational stuff, but you can't see it. You can't see it because that pressure is being pressed down on you, and therefore you're losing quality. And therefore that's why you only see those small, small spectrums that they show you on scales. And yet, the more you get into your spirituality, no matter what path it is, right? It doesn't matter the path it takes to get up the mountain. The view is the same from the top. Wiccan, Christian, uh, Christ-like, consciousness, all of them. Uh, Muslim, Zen, Buddha, all of these things are all the exact same thing. They're teaching you how to be aware because it doesn't matter. When you get to the top of the mountain, the view is the same from the top, okay? It just depends on how difficult you want to make it to get up that mountain, okay? So when you're up there, when you're viewing it, you're understanding that all the paths were actually options. And so just choose one. Choose a path that aligns for you. Choose a path that aligns with your vibration. And when that path, when that person who wrote that story, when that person who wrote that part of that chapter doesn't align with you because they weren't aware enough, has to decide. Put it aside and keep moving forward. We do not have to get rid of books. We do not have to get rid of the whole entire Bible because it doesn't align with certain areas, because it talks about a time that we didn't understand, because it promotes slavery in a time that that's what they were living. Okay, It's the same exact thing as today's age, the way that people respond to AI and the way that people respond to technology. Right? You could write it as the most evil thing, or you could write it as the greatest thing. And the person who's reading the story, they're the ones who are supposed to decide what it is or isn't for them. The Bible's no different. And neither is the Quran, and neither is the Zohar, neither is the Kabbalah. All of these, they're just books to try to help you understand. That's all that it is. And so when you are scared, when you are in fear, you close down, you close your eyes in essence, and therefore you only see a very limited part of the, the spectrum. Okay, The more fear that you get rid of, the more you elevate, the more you're going to be able to see more that is all around you. And as I said, when people go on a spiritual journey, that's exactly what happens. Make no mistake, spirit actually represents breathing. So spirituality is literally the art of breathing. The more you learn about your body, the more you learn about your breath, the more you learn about patterns and flow, the more you open yourself up to see more of the spectrum. You'll start seeing things you never saw before. You'll start experiencing things you didn't even think were possible. Okay, so the 4D is time. And the important part of understanding is the reason that fear exists in the 3D is because time was created in the 4D, but we in the 3D are using time. So I want you to imagine one of those giant rolls of a plastic, right? When you're pulling on it, when you're covering up your uh, dishes or your leftovers, when you're pulling on it, you have this awareness in the back of your mind that it's going to end. At some point, you're going to pull on that and it's going to do that jerk and it's going to let you know it's out, it's done. Well, imagine if you felt that every day of your life, if you felt this constant pull 
that at some point it was going to end. And if you felt that in unawareness, all it is, all it is, is it basically makes you feel like every moment of time is one step closer to your biggest fear. Okay. So time was created in the 4D and it's used in the 3D. And therefore that's that understanding of uh, counterclockwise versus clockwise. Everything that moves clockwise moves with time, it's moving you towards the 4D. That's why when you die, it's literally moving you towards the end of your time. But when you love, when you listen to frequencies that create patterns, when you choose love over fear, you're actually creating more ripples of that plastic. You actually create more of it. And so therefore it's loosely around you. And because it's loosely around you, you still get to use the understanding of the energy that came with that time without it taking from you, without it suffocating you. People that are in fear are wrapping that plastic around them so many times they're suffocating themselves and then they die. Fear kills you. It's very simple. Okay. So when you're getting closer and closer to the end of your life, when you cross over, which is what that process is, that crossing over, what happens is it's like a, a rubber band. It snaps back. And all of a sudden you get all that energy, all that energy that was suppressed by this fear, this pressure, you get it all back, but you get it back as light, which is why every person in their NDE sees light. At some point in time, you see this bright light. You see light and colors the ways that you never saw them before because it's an amplification of joules. It's the understanding of E equals MC squared reversed, okay? It's literally the process of taking physicality, turning it back into energy. Whereas here, we actually use energy and we turn it into physicality. Same exact thing, okay? So in the 3D, we're borrowing time. And because we are borrowing time, we are moving it away from the 4D, which means it creates a pressure. It creates a resistance band in essence, and you feel that pressure, okay? So that's why everybody is either afraid of one or two things. They're either afraid of time running out, or they're afraid of not enough. They're afraid of, I'm sorry, they're either afraid of time running out or they're afraid of having to go through another moment in this life. They're terrified of having to go through another tomorrow or they are afraid that tomorrow will never come. Those are the only two places that you can actually be in when you're trying to understand time. Okay? So that's why fear is just pressure. Fear is just pressure. The more that you learn about fear, and especially your fears, the more you alleviate that pressure. And here's the kicker. In the 4D, fear doesn't exist. It does not exist at all. Time runs exactly the way it's supposed to in 4D, which is why in the 4D, you can observe all times that you want to. You can get understanding. You can get awareness. You can get perspective of all the different timelines that you were experiencing in that walk. Not past lives, that's different, timelines. In other words, if you saw something from one perspective as a child, you now get to see it from other perspectives that were there, which gives you understanding. Because the inevitability of the 4D is understanding. Because you can't decide whether you wanna come back or whether you wanna move on, which you can move on to the five or 5th D, which is outside of time. Or you can move to the 6D, which is a hub, which allows you to go back to the 2D and change something fundamentally that will affect everybody, but you don't get to change things in the 2D until you understand unconditional love, until you understand that hub, until you understand that heart piece that is right there. So you go to the 4D, you get the understanding, then you can move back to the 3D if you want to, or you can move on to the 5D. The 5D is outside of time. This allows you to see all of it together. It allows you to see the whole entire picture it allows you to get to the awareness and the understanding that you were seeking ultimately. And if you decide that you want to go to the 60, that's where it's a hub. It connects you to all different areas. So we're not going to go into that just yet. We're just talking about the one, two, three, four, and five. And make no mistake, you can't experience the 4D as a physical being. You can't experience the 5D as a physical being. Okay. It is only the 3D that allows for physicality. It is only the 3D that allows for the holes to be experienced. It is only the 3D that allows fear. Everywhere else, every single place that you can go only gets better. It doesn't get worse. And even if you drop down to the 2D, again, make the mistake, you're not the one that's experiencing it. It just exists there. Just because something exists doesn't mean you have to choose it. Doesn't mean that it has to be your default. Okay? So you got now all the way to the 6D of understanding. You now understand time a little better. You now understand fear a little better. Now understand that there is a balance to everything. Get your nine vibes aligned.